Hi guys, I showed this little vibrating solar powered bug that I made back in 2013. Um, did a couple of videos on it recently because I found it again and it still works. Which quite surprised me. Just turn it off for a minute. It's made from a garden solar light. That's the circuit board from inside the light. That's the original solar panel and all I did was I replaced there's an inductor normally on the circuit board which I originally thought was a resistor but I took it off and soldered in this little vibrating motor that comes out of a sorry vibrating toothbrush and when the sun goes down and the light goes out, the LED comes on normally in the garden, but because I've got that motor there, it starts vibrating. Now, as I say, I did that back in 2013, so I was having a little look round, see if there's anything we could use in the current Poundland range. And I came up with these. Neon solar lights, two for a pound. I've already taken this one apart to have a little look at it, and I think we can do the same thing. I've actually put bent paper clips in it at the moment to act as legs, but I haven't taken the inductor out and I haven't taken the motor out of here yet, so I thought I'd do that so you can see me doing it. So I'll get set up and we'll have a go. First thing I'll do is get the vibrating motor out of this toothbrush. It's an Oral-B Pulsar. Now, I don't recommend you go and buy these to get the vibrating motor out of it. It's a very expensive way to do it. We just happen to use these and once the batteries run down, you're supposed to throw them away. Um, the heads don't last much longer anyway, but the batteries are not supposed to be replaceable. What you do find is when you try and replace them, what usually happens is you can't get the spring tension right and they just don't work anymore. But to get them out, you can get all complicated or you can just grip that with a pair of pliers and pull it hard. Now I'll probably knock the camera when I do this, but oh no, managed it. So there we are. There's the vibrating motor. What we do need to do is don't try and pull it out, you need to desolder it from there and get that bit of plastic out of the way, desolder it there. If you pull them you'll just pull the wires straight out of the motor there and ruin it. But you see this one's got the what is it? Um, off centre weight. I can't remember what you called it now. Asymmetric or something like that. But that makes it vibrate. So I'll desolder that in a minute. Now this one had three screws in it, which I've taken out already. That's the circuit board. There's a screw there, so I need to get rechargeable battery out of the way so we can get to that screw. And there's the screw. Undo that. So say so I was already looking at this so these are bent paper clips I've put in there they're not part of the original um, solar light. Right that item just there, which looks like a resistor, is an inductor. So you can either cut it out or you can desolder it. And then we're going to solder that electric motor onto the same two terminals. Alright, we'll try my USB soldering iron. Now quite often it just isn't powerful enough to do what we need it to do. 
but we'll give it a try. It takes a few seconds to warm up. Right, smelting the solder. Okay, that's one wire off. That's the other one off. So now, pull straight out. So that's our vibrating electric motor. Now, can we get that? That one out without burning my fingers. That's one side. Ouch, that's getting hot. Right, so that's our inductor that we don't need. What we want to try and do now, it'd be nice if we can poke it straight through the same holes, wouldn't it? I think we've done it. Right. What happens if we turn this on? Okay. We've got a vibrating motor. So it'd be nice could do without the weight of that. Might just be a little bit less weight for it to try and shift. I'll put it back together now. If it doesn't work, I'll look at seeing if we can just glue this in there and reduce the weight. I've just super glued the motor on the back of the circuit board there, making sure that the metal isn't touching any of the um, tags there. I've got it back together. I did make a mistake where I put the electric motor was actually in line with one of the screws. So I've actually chopped out the plastic post that the screw went into. So now it works. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's enough to annoy anybody. Sounds like a moth or something caught in the window ledge. Sun comes up, stops. Sun goes down, away it goes. Job done.